want to see what Sand and Itlander decide to go for this time. As we have Itlander in the bottom right as a jar. Oh, a craft mirror. We haven't seen that yet today. Oh, yeah, we haven't. We haven't seen it in a long time, to be honest. Yeah, it's true. People have been liking Doraru. I've been liking Dorzol especially. I We have, but other than that one time on Frontiers that Santa pulled off against Magical, or tried to, we have <laughs> not seen the Zol building damage. True. Which I think people just partly figured out how to deal with and partly just don't want to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> well, here comes a fast expanse on both sides. It ladder getting that earlier Ether and Santa getting that earlier base. The other day, not too much of a difference. Uh, Santa heading for a building right after instead of going for Ether, so really concentrating on getting out his uh, Zentari as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. And I get that. I love getting my Zentari out. You know, getting beefy boys on the map and ready to pounce on anything. With uh, the Hallowed Ground to help defend them. We're ready for those mm -hmm. to come out. Is it no, like you don't like beef? going for something aggressive too? I'm... A you're a vegetarian. It's, it's you're, you're a I'm not a vegetarian. vegetarian. I just prefer chick. I just prefer bird, or fish. Okay, it's more poultry. Mm, vegetarian, yeah. not even. No, because you like birds still. Okay. Well. Yep. Bird and fish. Bird and fish. Or bird, but fish. Not beef. Or fish, bird. Oh, should there be penguins? I don't. I don't. I've never eaten a penguin. Would penguin? Like it's watery, right? So penguins. I think it'd be must... like duck. Ooh, that'd probably be good. pretty. Probably pretty fatty. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it has to be. Okay, let's get some penguins in here. Do you think there's penguins on Nuoth? Or on Shale? Shale, probably. Nuoth apparently doesn't have a lot of Arctic climate. Okay, and even if there were, they would be super penguins. Yeah, they'd probably be, like, you know how penguins have like, ridged, almost like hooks in their beaks, in their mouths? Oh, yeah, yeah. Scary yeah, stuff. like that, except all over. Probably. Yeah, not fun. Not fun. Actually, no, there's a, there's a contest, though, for the ability to get lore stuff, like, to... Right. Get, to get Dylan to tell you lore secrets that involves making a Nuoth creature. So, if that inspired you guys to make a creature, go and do, write that in the lore channel in the Discord, because you could learn something about the game and also yes. write some cool things. Yeah, someone please write about a Super Penguin uh, that's on that's on, that's on on Nuoth, and I'd be very happy with that. Super Penguins can eat stuff like Walters and Walter Steaks. That's all they feed on. Don't mention Walter. No, don't Mentioning mention Walter. Mentioning Walter docks you points. Well, eliminates you entirely, yeah. <laughs> it's at at it might at best it docks you points. Yeah, exactly. At best it docks you points. Like uh, the only thing is the current one of the current entries the current I think the only current entry has a sort of like it's not Walter, but it's really close to Walter, so it's like It's as uh... close as Walter as you can get while still make it relevant to the lore, kind of. It's like, yes. yeah, no, it all makes sense. It's pretty much yes. Walter, but it's not. But ah, thank it's... you, Yeti. Yeah. It's uh it's not very stiff competition right now, so go and write stuff up. I think Pencils <laughs> Down is tomorrow evening, so... Yeah, Santa's gonna come up with uh, non-Walter, right? Oh god, he, he's gonna is find a way... Is that possible? Yeah, possible, yes. Uh, it'd, is be it organic, it it'd be an organic teapot. It would be an organic teapot. That's the other possible. option. Oh. Knowing Santa. It's possible, but not like... Oh, Absolver Push. Those were popular for a while, but since they siege a bit slower, I'm not sure how well it works. Of course, with the hallowed ground of the Centauri, you get a pretty decent way to deal with it. That's the better question is, does Itlander care? Hmm. Well, the tower's coming up as well. Yeah. But tower's if Itlander's trying to push push. into a choke point and making Santa Claus want to hold it, then Solver might be fine. Oh, right, here we go. The first siege up is coming in. A slow siege up, which makes it much harder to just jump on top of your opponent. Okay, slowly but surely getting up. Oh, but now he's in range of the hallowed ground. Oh, that's not going to work out very well. Those Absolvers are going to get sniped. Sapari doing what they can to deal with it. Eatlander! Oh, drops Heaven's Eaters a bit late. Santa Claus is still threatened enough not to dive in, but... That's towers they regroup. Here. Now they regroup. Eatlander loses all of their Absolvers, and now there's nothing really putting Santa Claus back except just Micro. Just Chitin. Yeah, and even with the tower back here. With the tower oh, here, yeah, there's no. nothing to Santa, kill this. Santa's got this unlock. Yeah, the most Atlanta could have done there is just kill more units than he lost. Uh, just because oh, the tower... the choke point? Yeah, exactly. Like, get a minor, minor contain, make it harder to take that third. That's the only real win Atlanta could realistically have gotten. Yeah. Maybe without that tower, he could have gotten some worker kills. But without, with the tower there, it's just... It, this push is just not as reliable as it used to be. But behind this, it wasn't all in. He was going for wardens. He was forcing Santa to stay back while he could take up to something he wanted. 
Which is Santa honestly, is no. Santa knows. Santa's well aware of. But yeah. Yeah. Well, you say that, but his only anti-air is free magi. So those those wardens, once they come out, they can dish the pain on all these units. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, Voyeur. Apparently, I, didn't, I forgot that Voyeur had an entry. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I thought Voyeur, there was someone else that had. Actually, an entry well, there. I guess if we disqualify the one that's Walter-ish, then we only have Voyeur's entry, so it'd still be correct. It's not Walter. It's Walter-ish. As close to Walter as you can get, but still not Walter. So that's something. That's it's really riding the line, and I, I, I know I, I, Dylan I, I, well I, enough to know that he's not really a fan of people riding the line. Oh, like definitely, that. definitely not. <laughs> but I appreciate the effort. That's what I'm going to go for. I appreciate the effort. And you, this is not a fight that either of them want to take, kind of. It's like, Magi healing's in yeah. time, the tower is here. Now you're pushing forward, but now you have no anti air, so the wardens are great. Okay, so Itlander taking a solid advantage off this. That, yeah, I'd say is a win for Itlander. Santa Claus did not get, did not achieve any operational goals and lost a bunch of units in the process. Yeah, and Zentari, ooh, and the Magi are all very <laughs> expensive. That's a oh, many lost units. That's, yeah, pretty much made, that's made up for the Absolvers. That's more oh, than made up for the Absolvers. Yeah, and getting the Magi at the end as well. Oh man, all of those expensive units going down. And Santa behind us is not happy. Itlander taking his third, but there's nothing Santa can do about it. He needs to defend his base. Cascader well, is coming out as yeah. the anti air. Yeah. Cascader's being one Cascader being the only option Santa Claus currently has. They're likely to Who's get more. Who's two Zephyr in the yeah. It's not too bad. Yeah, but they have uh, options. Itlander, yeah, Itlander might be forced to recall uh, to deliver from evil to get out of this, not lose too many units. Most likely we'll lose at least one of those wardens as he tries to escape. Yeah, there's okay, the DFE. All right, hey. goes. Does not get any moat kills, but does get does keep the wardens alive. So, and keeps Just his opponent guy. keeps keeps his opponent at bay, which is the other yeah. important thing. He expanded back, he got expansion, double expanded. They oh. Itlander double expanded. Okay, that's dangerous. They are going. Uh, yeah, that's dangerous. Is right. I don't want to say risky. This is just this is this is foolhardy. And this is reckless. He got, he got two legion halls as well, so he just had a lot of money oh, floating. So he decided to spend did. it that way. Oh man, I, I kind there, of prefer two production structures instead. Yeah, Santa's honestly, on two bases. It, Santa might have problems just because of the wardens. Like the fact that Santa does not have a whole lot of anti air and Eatlander has options it? to deal with ground as well quite effectively. Like Eatlander can defend this. It might but, not be that easy. Oh man, those wardens dish out. Yeah, the is it a pyrrhic victory? That's the question. And it looks like no. Santa's actually getting. Santa's getting wow. bumped. Oh, he's getting pushed back. Santa's entire army wiped out a few losses on Itlander's side, but man, Itlander's composition was near perfect. I can't. I, I really didn't think it would happen. He was waiting for the Howlers in the back, and Howlers can make such a difference in these fights. And then being so too, with the Castigator stopping the wardens from getting in, but now Santa Claus has no way to defend this. Itlander can just run roughshod. Oh, he doesn't, and then by this point, Ilander doesn't care. He has a fourth base coming up. He just yep. needs to defend everything, and he'll be good to go. So Santa knows he's taking his third, but so late, he needs to do something. He needs to cause some trouble to his opponent. And it'll so just far, be they've very lost some to their army. It's hard to even call. What what trouble can they even cause? One sentinel, even two sentinels isn't enough against the wardens when they don't care. Yeah, the, and the wardens definitely don't care. There's no end here on Ilander's side at all. He doesn't care. He's just jumping on units and killing as many as he can. And as many as you can is at least five of them. Five expensive tech units, too. Yeah. And gets the pirate camp and runs home with his uh, wardens, loses one of them. Might not be able to rebuild his wardens afterwards. The arrow control goes completely to Santa. <laughs> including oh, Santa the tower. The four, yeah, the forward tower. Yep. Uh, the counterattack comes in, but... No, that's not going to be enough. No. That's, yeah, that's, that's not going to kill him in time. Time to run. No. Atlander, you got your information. Don't overcommit. Do not don't overcommit. Don't overcommit. Uh, that's Salshin. Don't lose a Salshin. And yeah, he overcommitted a bit. The only thing he lost is the Salshin. Oh, never mind. This is the part. And Zephyr can still jump forward. Nah, All okay, right. Well, that equalizes stuff a bit. Santa a lost, bit. Lost, lost his army at this phase, and Lander re lost his army at that one. Look at the army. Army population is close enough. Army value is pretty close. And like Santa is rebuilding a fast. Yeah, because there's a small army advantage on Santa, but Itlander's rebuilding. I'm not too worried. Units are coming in fast. Oh, the Ancient, though. Santa's got that. Santa knows. It's almost 10 minutes. Got to get ready on that. And Itlander... It's going to have a struggle here. Santa's pretty well defended everything. Yeah, especially with the Tower of the North, he'll see it. Uh, Santa can say, okay, maybe his opponent goes for a Tower and be behind it, he'll go for the base kill. 
which honestly I, I kind of like from him. Like getting a base kill is more. Oh, it's not more important. Both, both are really, really powerful mm. tools. I mean, I think base kill. Given how much prior Elander currently has, base kill is definitely going to be much more impactful than anything they get from the ancient. Yeah, or and the tower, was... for that matter. Yeah. So like the base, the base kill is the goal, and Santa Claus is nothing to stop them. Itlander gets out of there, still up one, still an even on bases because they have that other third. Yeah, good on Itlander getting that third. It's not fully mining though, so he needs to upgrade that. But at least he has that, right? He has the yes. other birds that are equal in economy, and Santa doesn't know about the bottom base. Uh, they Santa are, still they are catching out Itlander's forces though, over in the can in the middle of the canyon. Oh no. Oh no, that's a that's a big loss again. The, with the rocks not destroyed, there's not really an easy path back. The Saushins are again the expensive units one you don't want to lose. Hitlander looking to regroup. And does at least manage to keep the Saushin alive this time. Yeah. And here goes the ancient fight. See, here's the thing. Santa's gonna get that ancient, and then Hitlander has to worry about pillar drops. <laughs> Well, Elander's coming, but a bit slow. Of course, if he can get a few of those expensive units behind us, and Santa knows it's better to fight, especially at the top of the hill. Don't want to go up a hill to fight. Uh, coming from oh. the back. Sentinel's out of position. So Elander at least has... They can surround, gets the hit, gets the Heaven's Aegis. He needs the Heaven's Aegis and needs to come back on that tower. But Going that, down on top of the No, units. the Ancient's going to fall. The Ancient of Santa's... Oh, oh is, is it? it? Is so it? so close. It's so close. Elander <gasps> pulls oh, it back! It. The last pixel, Itlander pulls this entirely back, pushing Santa Claus to their hill tower, to the near tower. I mean, now you have to be careful. He's at the bottom of they the do. hill. Like, it's always the bottom of the hill you have to be careful of. And Santa comes back in, but Santa does not have that many units. He's trying to push back there. That's so many units for Itlander. Santa comes back, a few more units. The Magi comes back as reinforcement, but one Magi won't make the difference. Uh, but the units no, are all not low HP feeling. at this point. Yeah, you can start on low HP. The tower might be able to help, but behind this, the base is still growing back up for it ladder. <laughs> Both going back, going for their fourth base. So equal on economy at this point. Not even going for nope, just tower, all tower, all day. And that's that's fair. Uh, prevent that staging ground. Yeah. And okay, need to run back now. You can't keep going for this. Ancient alive on both sides. Pretty even. Yeah, but hey, no that's after Eatlander almost lost it completely. Exactly. Granted, no. Santa has been farming Pyre around the side, so Pillar Drop is still on the table. And Eatlander... They killed the tower. They killed a lot of the army. I think that's the main the main thrust at the moment, is just keep Santa Claus occupied. Because the longer Santa stays occupied, the less likely that Pillar Drop is even going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, you need to find a good position to, with the Pillar, because if not, you just run away from the Pillar and don't care. Yeah. So, I mean, right now, Eatlander could actually start really... Really outpacing Santa for her army. Now, Elander's having a, struggling to focus on that, but they do have a very strong economy right now. They do have the ability to just start powering past their opponent for okay, here, army value. Here comes a Dervish Rash from, from Santa, what he's known for. But behind this, it seems he's, Santa stopped caring about the agent, leaves it to his opponent, and Dervish gets in. There's not many modes mining because this base has barely come up. Ooh, no, that's just going to be. There's a defense. Oh, good to see. And yeah, the Dervish can yeah. run in here. They can for a little while. Itlander's not letting that happen for long. Now there's trapped. Oh, there we go. Two dead Find Dervish for a handful of moats. Find yeah. a Santa taking his fifth base, and that's when Santa comes out ahead of all of this. If he can get his economy just a bit faster, it will be great. But this Although, point, Itlander. Itlander, Itlander, they are even on army value, and they've just built up. Another like twenty percent of their opponent army like population. So that army yeah. is gonna start skyrocketing in like thirty seconds. Atlanta's yeah. gonna gonna have a solid timing. Yeah, and Atlanta behind this, splitting up his army as you should do. Sandos gonna see that, but won't really be able to do anything as those. Okay, the fifth base will be denied. Can Santa deny Atlanta third once more? Uh, probably not. Heading back for another ancient kill. Yeah, it's just about that time again. Okay, Empire and Broken doesn't want to let that die. Halloweth's dishing out the damage from the back. And Santa Claus does... Santa Claus can keep Eatlander from going up that ramp. And Santa Claus can maintain the control. Same time, Santa with the backline thrones. Oh no, but the forcing a retreat back. from Eatlander. 
Yeah, they can't be dangerous. That's not a position the Thrones wanted to get in. And at this point, the Kindness round of one goes down, and the other two are having Santa trouble. Santa forced to engage. Santa moving, moving to try to save their Thrones, but it's too late. The Thrones are down. The rest of the forces coming in from behind. But having been split up, Santa's army simply does not have the strength to fight this. Itlander well, completely pushing Santa back. And behind this, the, the attack keeps on coming. He... Santa already uses Empire Unbroken in another tower, so now this tower is alone. It's going to be taken out of Separi. The fight's still happening in the center. Ark Mother is using their ability to keep the units alive. Thrones getting taken out by the Castigators. Santa Claus still has the Howlers at the front and the tower to help defend us. But the Howlers have nothing in enough. front of them. The Howlers are completely dead. The tower goes down. Santa Claus does manage to defend their third after losing the tower, but that's expenditure of Pyre. That means they cannot push an offensive. And it landed behind us. 300 Pyre. To rebuild it for the next push. Yeah, they can just drop it. They honestly could have just dropped a salvation during that fight, but they could just drop a salvation in the next fight. Like, they have so much money. They have so much pyre. They have so many options to keep everything alive for a real push. Yeah, Santa miscalculated there, putting his four thrones right into his opponent's base and letting that get taken out like that just puts such so much pressure on him to try and win the next fight. He needs he needs the big next big army win fight if he wants to stay in this game. Hmm. Okay, another counterattack coming in. Santa sees there's no fifth base, but Inliner's getting ready for it. On yeah, both. Inliner's got it. Yeah, they've got, they've got fifth the fifth base. base somewhere. Fifth and sixth yeah, base. Exactly. Time. So Sanders thinks, oh, they're going for a fifth base expansion. And the answer is no, it's two. It's yeah. five and six. And Santa behind us can't really afford to double expand or expand even once. Uh, so Inliner. They can't afford not to, though. It's 16 minutes in the game. They're bashing stuff mining. Their main base is going to be mined out in a few minutes. Yeah, 1600 already. That's uh, Ancient is back out, and Santa's on top of it immediately. Can the yeah the power might just be enough to get him back in the game immediately? But Itlander's coming on top of it and going for the unit kills. Can yeah, get to get the unit kills, kills, the pillar won't be able to do much. Ark Mother comes in to defend, and Santa at least gets the power. He gets 200 power right now. He's equalizing Itlander there, so he has but a chance. Only the power there, they are. They do have a chance. The pillar, a pillar push could be something that Santa could use, or even just. Pillar defense. Like, Santa has everything on the table. Yeah, Santa can still take it slowly but surely. Orzum is made for that, for those tower defenses, and just survive based on that. He has a lot of cascaders to deal with the back, and... Okay, There's here Pillar, we go. there's Salvation as a result. Pillar drops, takes out the couple of cascaders. That's a bit of a loss, but the throne's already gone for Santa, so Itlander keep pushing. Itlander's not going to have much luck breaking through this. But all they had to do is take damage. Any damage they deal is free damage with the Salvation on. Yeah, but all units are coming back at 75% health, so, uh, so not much HP here. Losing one of his thrones, expensive loss. A loss he can pretty much afford since he has less bases. At this point, Santa has to be careful he keeps pushing. You want to keep pushing to your opponent's tower. That tower kind of saved you. Don't keep pushing into another tower. Yeah, don't, don't, don't go too far. But Atlander, they kept their army up. The Salvation paid off, and... Orzon, or Santa now just doesn't even have enough pyre, or barely has enough pyre to re to Empire Unbroken to spot. He did Empire Unbroken in the last fight to keep that tower alive and get that yep. AOE with it. So that really made a difference. At this point, here comes another fight, another very small fight at this, this outpost. Sapari. Yep, Sapari getting for the tower. Again, the moat's coming out to help defend. And behind this, Santa, Itlander heading out for another, for another attack on the other side to try and keep his opponents out there. Kill squads everywhere. Yeah, that's, that's the whole point of all around the map. So you just Sand's gonna struggle to hold expansions. Their only expansion they really have is that forward one. Not to mention to hold the towers, because that is a resource engine for Orzum. Yeah. Well, he keeps this base alive and all it costs with a few Sapari for it lander. He has the economy to support it, to be fair. He has two extra bases. Uh, so losing those Sapari to keep his opponent at bay is a great trade for him. Yeah, kills the map control, kills the pyre gain. And behind this, oh he can jump on nice the base. Nice distraction! Oh, Itlander's almost going to be care. Or, okay, Itlander's not a no, bad move advice. here, but it, they they got to leave once they take the base out. Yeah. Oh, no, they're going for it? They gotta oh, be the careful. There's, there. a huge, there's a huge arc on Santa's side, though. There All is, the but the amount of shielding coming in for Itlander might hold the line. Uh, no, well, it keeps him alive anyway. Yeah, exactly. The Cascaders are too strong for those thrones. And there's not much frontlining going on here, so Santa can just keep on pushing. Yeah, all the frontlining front is going, killing everything off to the side. Okay, back to the tower, but only three thrones left out of the whole army. Santa has the army lead again. 
Uh, the counterattack comes on the other side, though. At the same time, there's a big push happening at that tower. But is it enough? If he loses his whole army, Itlander will still be dead in the water. He's doing his best. Survive and Santa. Intent with this push. Itlander's waiting for his reinforcements to come back because he needs them. His army. No, oh, yeah. His, his army population is still higher than his than Santa. But uh, it's but also Zapari. Needs... The whole the whole thing is upgraded Zapari. Hey, it's upgraded Zapari pretty good, but well, in the yeah, they... ground, yes. So with the Ark Mothers, they do great. But unfortunately, they just weren't there. The synergy was not present. Oh man, look and at now that. Santa with another pillar on deck, and Itlander has nothing to respond to. Yeah, another ancient coming down for Santa and yeah, Leonard just... Well, it... Santa's still on four bases. That's still the issue for Santa. Santa's on four bases. Itlander's on six. As you said earlier, the mains are mm -hmm. pretty much mining mains out are done. just now. Five. Oh, Santa can mine a bit more. Lucky him. <laughs> a little bit, but not by yeah, much. It's, it is... The mains Andy. are done. The natural soon done. The It's these side expansions that are going to matter, and that's where Itlander's constant harassment is going to be paying off. Yeah, here comes Empire Unbroken, but Santa's army. This is a massive army. You need to. It's a massive army. It's this is a big threat. Itlander needs to thin out this army and defend their base if they want to hold this game. Coming from the low ground, pillar drops. Santa does have position around it, but it's kind of forced to retreat away. Itlander pushing Santa away from their own pillar, leaving the rest of the forces vulnerable. There's nothing coming out from the shower. A bit of dead weight there. The Howlers being the main asset. Itlander able to shield the units enough to push forward, and Santa gets pushed off. The army, is it going to get thinned? Itlander they, goes for it. Itlander wants this. They Itlander, need this, and Itlander. they are going to get the Castigators down. That opens up the thrones. Itlander can, can push in. They don't need to stop. Yeah, he Not needs to get top of those towers. The Hallowers are the expensive units. With the tower there, it's going to be harder. He killed a lot of those Hallowers, but is it enough? As Santa now has the tower as a frontliner. He's scaling the tower as fast as he can, but that's so oh, much that's damage. Part, no, like that's the part I get the Hallowed Ground bonus. They are solid. Extra shields, extra speed. They have nothing to worry about. Itlander, unfortunately, lost a lot in the process, but they, they took out so much of Santa's army and burned that pillar, made the Ancient worthless. Yeah. And behind all this, the Dervish are trying to go for a counterattack, but... <laughs> Itlander played it safe this time, going yeah. for Fire Singers for the defense. Most doing a bit of damage. And yes, the reinforcements. Itlander can afford to get reinforcements a bit more than Santa. Santa has his fifth base, though, and he's going for his sixth at the same time. So he's catching up on economy. It's going to come down to the next army fight, as Itlander is now behind on army. Army value for sure. Army supply is a bit close. The Oshreks did a lot of damage last time. <laughs> doing more damage once more. Those Sipari mm -hmm. getting decimated. Kind of unfortunate Itlander doesn't have much Sharu production, they like they have so much ether. Like it's very yeah. easily pivot into it and just spam out a bunch of Sharu just to help with helped. that help with the extra damage. Especially getting rid of the Hallowers. It would have helped a lot in those extra Oh look at that, that base taken by <laughs> It has been detected so It has it's, it's not gonna last long. But that's the thing that Yidlander has. They have their army advantage. They they could have they afford they were able to afford losing what they lost to take out what Santa had. Yeah, but he can't keep doing that. He needs the next no, army win. He needs the big army. He can't keep fighting like that, losing battles. He killed no, a lot of was, followers, which was important. They did. That was a setup, though, for the next fight. And this this upcoming fight is going to be the big one. And Santa's looking to find a way to k just catch Itlander out of position completely. And Does he Itlander did. care? Is this, are we just going base race here? Yeah, Itlander he might said, be. Yeah, he killed it. Santa's whole army to deal with this. And now Itlander's heading back home. He has enough Sipari to help defend this. This base in the north, okay, Santa's just repositioning. He doesn't want to lose the base in the middle. They know. They they, they learned last time. Itlander will take that from you. <laughs> okay, yeah. Nate's, uh... Okay, yeah, Santa defending... At this time, Itlander defending with a small group of units. Uh, but Santa's just heading for the base in the west. He attacked the base in the east. Now he's ready for the base in the west. Mine's coming out here from Itlander to deal with this. And Separi are not long for this Sipari world. Well, yeah, but they're doing pretty well, considering. Yeah, with the mines getting on top of them. Yeah, this base... With that... the mines against Dervish, I mean, this upgraded Sapari are... That's the thing about army value right now. Upgraded Sapari do a lot, and it's a little hard to really gauge just based on army value. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, Itlander so pulled Itlander's out of just, position. Yeah, the base. Itlander's got the distraction, gets the base kill, loses a base in the process, however. And yeah, there's too many towers here. There's enough towers that it takes a long time, so Santa has time to regroup his army. Empire Unbroken goes down the tower. He can still kill it. If really he can, but at what losses? The... 
Well, Empire units are not here yet. Just buying that much more time. Okay, units are not here, and here comes the Oshrex to start the fight. I uh, kind of missed, but the Cascaders get on top of the Thrones, and with only Thrones, they're getting decimated, but... The oh, but the Cascaders were too to... bunched up! Throne Swords got them! Itlander able to wipe out most of the anti Unfortunately, they're still losing most of their Thrones. Itlander not able to get away unscathed. Their Air Force is gone. Itlander can rebuild, but it's just getting that much harder. And Santa getting getting the Ancient on top, getting on top of the Ancient again. And Itlander, his army value is coming back up, but going back up slowly but surely, but just a bit too slowly. The Itlander uh, coming challenge in once again. Point. Coming in for a choke point is dangerous. Relying heavily on it's yet? all Howlers, though. There's no frontliner for Santa Claus. They do have, they got the, they did get the Ancient, but without any frontliners... Itlander can just rush in with Sapari and just wipe everything out. Which is he's exactly doing what they're doing. Doing his best. Pillar, Pillar drop, to what back. end? Yeah, at the back of the army. Pillar's going to go down really quickly. Uh, most trying to expand other places to figure stuff out. But man, this is such a close game. No. I st we can't call it either way as both teams. Just have decent armies and about equal on bases. Itlander able to take the base of his opponents to Santa. Mining a bit less, so yeah. that's Itlander. a pretty big adventure lander. Just did the make mining. a center base though. Their their fifth and sixth have held. The fifth got a bit harassed, but they're getting t getting a seventh in the center. Santa Sa heading back six there. bases. Okay, six Santa bases needs to seven. So or four Sa bases to five for mining ones. Ooh, Santa needs to be careful. He might just be caught out of position here. If Itlander wants to catch him on the way out, uh, he can kill this whole oh, army. Santa on the way out. Oh yeah, Itlander's got. They have population and value advantage. And here comes Itlander, coming from the flanks. He wants to jump on those Halwars, even though the Throne's attacking, it's only one Throne. Those are so many Sipari. The Oshrek comes in to kill the moats, but the moats don't care. Itlander wants those expensive units of the Sipari. He's jumping on top of them. No towers anywhere to run back to. Dodging the swords from Santa. Santa relying entirely on the Zentari in the Hallowed Ground. That's fine. Itlander can regroup. Itlander has the army. At this point, the army value is going back on his side. Kills for the tower. Tower goes down pretty quickly. All strikes. Not much energy for all strikes left. And the throne is here, but the throne's to get it taken out by the castigators. And this time, Itlander seems to be going for it, jumping on top of everything. Tower just finishes to help defend, but might not be enough of defense. So the Sipari are on top. The Hallowers, Hallowers getting all taken down. The, the Ark Mothers saying they're saying they're they're a big they're a big protection field, but is it enough? Santa Claus. It's enough to it's enough to force Empire and Broken. Santa Claus distracted, now not able to defend their their fifth and sixth base. Itlander free reign has free reign now to just go around taking out Santa's economy, and this is all Santa has. They lose these bases, they're dead in the water. And that doesn't have much. He has the Halwars which can dish damage from afar, but the Separi are great at jumping on top of stuff, and Itlander might just be doing this. This might be his final push, but just gotta be careful with these final pushes. Those towers are so powerful. Yeah, that's make sure the Halwars don't break you, and you'll be fine. Itlander pushing once again. Halwars have nothing blocking them. Itlander able to push, and Santa has to give up the base. Itlander can't be stopped anymore. One of his only mining bases, the Halwars at the back still dishing damage from afar, and doing their best, but it's only three Hallowers against a no. full-on army. Yeah, Santa... If Santa had frontliners, those Hallowers would have a little bit more of a chance, but they just don't. The fear of thrones is so strong, Santa has used, has been using Castigators as the frontliner. Yeah, and Santa's rebuilding a base at the bottom. Yeah, Santa's effectively mining from... Okay, it's still two bases, getting his third base mining, his yeah. natural is mined out, main is mined out. Third is almost mined out. True both sides, but Itlander has an extra base over Santa. Actually, two bases having destroyed one of them. Oh, this one's almost mined out, but that's getting there. Another small run by Sapari, but Santa was there this time. So this is more about giving army away, but Santa, Itlander behind it, going for the other base. Again, a distraction from Itlander paying off with another base as Santa's army is too small to really contend with this. And Itlander, they can take a base while also threatening the Ancient and provide and running by on the sides. Santa's doing his best. He knows this is his last life in the tournament. He loses this. He's out of the tournament. And he needs to fight for all he's worth. We look at the army value. 5,000 is not a weak army at all. There's a lot it's of not. army. It's a lot of high tech. And depending if it's mostly thrones, can just get on top of them. But it let her went into Zephyrs and more generalist army. So the army can deal with pretty much everything. Just not as well as a specialized one, but they can deal with anything. And, and not only that, numbers. 
Like, yeah. Eatlanders are... Like, the thing is that Santa's army is still largely Casting Gears and Hollowers. So that's... It's Expensive. good. But it's not going to deal with a bunch of frontliners. Yeah, it's, it's good against thrones. It's good against thrones. As you can see, Eatlander agrees. It's good against thrones. Hence, not as many thrones. Oh, the thrones are changing to thrones, that's why. They were too busy attacking. Well, that's Santa for you, being sneaky. Oh, what? Eatlander, cheeky, doesn't even get rid of the ether expector from Santa's old oh, expansion. He he took this base before. He, he may as well just take the other bases, you know? That's the he, point, yeah. He can afford it. I just want him to take the Ancient now, because the Ancient will be worth... How much... How much... Uh, how much power is the Ancient actually, worth Eatlander, this time? Eatlander is maxed out in supply, so there's actually... Or population, so there's actually no reason not to go for that. Those expansions. Yeah. Okay, so how much... How... That's a big army. Here comes Heaven's Aegis on top of it to help defend it. And Santa's pulling back, doing some... Pull... Things a little bit of care of the Agent. Okay, there's the ancient kill. Yeah, how Just get, much? get Santa out of the way. Go for the. It's two hundred. Is it two hundred? We'll no, it's about... three hundred now. Three hundred. Yes, yeah, yeah, three hundred. We're thirty Why? minutes into the game. Yeah, pretty much fire. And there's salvation because he doesn't care just anymore. In case. He has too much fire. <laughs> he just has too much fire. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't want to lose any units. Yeah. The base going down to Zentari. He's gonna go defend it. Empire and broke comes down on the on the base, but it gets canceled. Not worth defending. And yeah, just playing through the motion at this point. Inlander is so far ahead. 10,000 army value, something we rarely see. Certainly something we can never see before, well, the increase in population. So yeah, this is this is it. Inlander does pull it out. Great games from it. A great game from Inlander. Back and forth game with both of them taking advantage, disadvantages. Inlander showing his medal this time again, getting to the finals over Santa.